Welcome back to the Nerdy Chinese Backlog. Look at this. Wait, hold. Whoa. Is, there... is that a bone saw in the kitchen? Bone saw is ready. I don't know what that's from. Spider Man. Leaves the wire. Penguin murdered Black Mask. Oh, so but why the would he fighter that he fought. So, he oh, is that his name? I mean, like, it's been a long time since I watched that movie, too. But, oh, like, hey. oh, oh, hello. That's probably not good. Oh, we can't that's scan her first. This is like the most obvious piece of evidence in the room. <laughs> Why? What? Maybe, I think turn around. I think the body. Yeah, ah, his body is behind you. Is that? That's not actually black mask, though, is it? This crime took place days ago. The fire and what? the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. Which you you literally do that all the time. I was gonna say he he does that constantly. Now we can scan this body. We can scan her hand. Let's find out who this dead person is. So just looking. At oh her god, face. and she's got like the creepy dead eyes too. Based on her fingerprints, Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis's girlfriend. Uh, or one of them at least. She's up. no angel. Long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. Aside she's from the just, fact that she's crucified. Yeah, yeah. Aside from the fact that she's obviously the one that they made a message out of. Okay, here's another piece. Spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. So he thinks it's pink right now. Right. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. It's not. Okay. So somebody murdered them and then started a fire to destroy evidence. Yeah. Oh so. God, have you um have you heard of Return of the Obra Dinn? I don't think so. It's oh it's it's I've heard so many good things about that game. Return of the Oberdin is a game the where you, you play as a guy who what? the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves so. on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. Okay. Okay, so it wasn't probably wasn't Penguin, right? Whoa. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of So Penguin's like he strung her up and the then shot her? Gunpowder. So he was here later. Yeah, he got there at the end. The okay. cops were right. Penguin was in the room. But these prints prove he was here after so the murder was committed. So I guess we have to rewind, right? He didn't right? kill Black Mask. Who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? So go to where the... Yeah. Ah. Here you go. Uh, come on. So, I've heard that the new Batman movie that they're coming out with is actually going to be, like, more detective-y. I would like that. So would I. Because that's a really cool part of Batman, seems like he's actually intelligent. Yeah, it's, it's something that we never we never think about, right? Like, why is why is Batman the tactician of the Justice League anyway? Well, it's because he's, like, the smartest guy in the room. <laughs> like, Superman's too much of a Boy Scout to, like, think of plans, right? Yeah. Superman, but, like... So when they're dealing with something that does actually require everyone's talents, like, Batman's the best person to coordinate that. Yeah. Which, like, the, the previous movies have not done a good job of that, because... If they did a Tower of Battle like, movie, I would want them to do... I, should review like, the I think a Tower of Battle would be great. More about I would really like the them to or the shooter. prove how intelligent Batman is. Yeah. So, yeah definitely, ahead. definitely more, more, like, let's, let's... Let's make Batman smart instead. Instead like, of face punchy. Yeah, instead of just constant face punch. Like, uh, there's enough face punch in the video games. Yeah. Video games is fun to face punch because why? Like, like, what was the last time there was a like? What was the last really good detective movie you watched? Like, seriously. This fabric could help. The other guys with Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Like, maybe I thought the nice guys was really good. Um, kind of a detective. Movie. Oh, you've not seen the nice guys? I think it's been on my list, but I just haven't got it. The nice guys, super good. It's actually my sister loves the nice guys. Anything by Shane Black is like a, like solid mystery movies because he's like a kind of he's into that kind of like noir thing. So like Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, it's decent mystery movie. Um, this DNA is from the female victim. I'm just kind of scanning things. I've I've not been processing exactly what's happening. Uh, basically, someone was sitting at the table. So someone was here waiting for them. Black Mask or someone came in sneaking behind him and got into a fight. Okay. Right now we're looking. Ah, oh, there's a thing. That's a phone. And the, the text message screen is actually up. Oh, okay. This is the plot. Yeah. Joker. Dun dun dun. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago. And I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. 
night. So that, must, so, that guy landed up with oh, a zombie so, black mask. Wait. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of Wait, the hold on. Is... I have a body. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that body just the Joker lying there the whole time? The <laughs> that no, seems that like something he would do. Dead. He's been there for a couple of days now. Okay. Well, it seems like something that the Joker would do to, like, impersonate a body on a crime scene, you know? But I'm, I just lie there and wait. I think Batman's guess is that that guy on the floor is not actually Black Mask. Well, he yeah, must yeah. be one of his thugs, but he's just confirmed with so much that you can tell. Right, it's a frame-up. I think he's also wearing a black suit. I'm going to sit because he got himself a fire. Oh, what are we doing? We're going back to the Batcave? Yes. To get a... Okay. Yeah, you go back to the Batcave and you talk to... No, hey, do that. So go ahead and go outside, and then you can fast travel. Fast travel. Fast travel, travel inside. There's reasons. This is not like a large dungeon. It's fine. Two zip that. Excuse me. Okay. Whoa. Hello. They they just sent in one guy with a riot shield by himself. They don't know how dangerous Batman is yet, man. How do they not know how dangerous? We've been we've been like doing this shit all game, like. They, they, they this have takes to, place like, over one night, yeah, so I it's only going to be like a couple hours, and we haven't fought a whole lot of police officers, so I don't care. So go ahead and go to the map. Uh, oh yeah, we have to go back to the back. Yeah, so go um, all the way up to the left. Oh, okay, Wayne so. Manor. Palisades. Velocities. Which I'm kind of like, I, I used that in my Batman Beyond script too. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like I changed a bunch of the stuff to like match the lore from other movies and stuff. This is... Okay, this is something I want to talk about, because, like, people are always like, oh, I need the lore to be, like, perfectly accurate. But if the lore was perfectly accurate, like, it wouldn't make any sense as a movie, because people would be coming back from the dead, left and right. And, like, so, like, the reason the Christopher Nolan movies worked so well is because they focused on, like, the themes, right? Like, there's no Rachel Dawes in the Batman lore. Like, she, that's not a person. But, like, they added her for, the, for this very Christopher Nolan-y... What the... Can I change outfits? Uh, I think... You can if you download them. Okay. Um, so go down to the next level. That's where the research and development area is left. Here? Yeah. Ah. Should be there. Take yes. Discussion detonator. Discussion detonator. Which I it? never used. Oh, this, <laughs> might be the, this might be the glue grenade. What, what's it do? Uh, oh no, this is like an extra glue. Uh. Five thousand XP for that, by the way. <laughs> Wait, it's, the GCPD it's not even on here. Yeah, it's uh, go all the way to the room. No, that's a small one. Wait, what's all the way? That's a good oh, okay. Let's do it. You can't do it in here because you know Damn it. safety. Alfred. Uh invisible wall. Uh, uh, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Just go back to the map. Okay, we go back to, the, back to the map. Okay. Can you talk to Alfred? What does he say? What does Alfred say? Well played, sir. You stopped the electrocutioner with a single strike. Yeah, we did. used his arrogance to my advantage. Huh? Just move a child could have avoided. Fair enough. True, but I doubt the rest of them will go down as easily. I mean, Deathstroke proved that, right? <laughs> I will say that the uh, Copperhead fight is more annoying than the Deathstroke fight. Right. It's, it's, it's interesting. It's a... It's a weird take on a boss fight. Wait, hold on. If we go over to this practice area, can we can we use the concussion detonator? Uh, in a fight, yeah. We need to start training. Damn it. Okay, we're not going to do that. Let's just go back to the map. Uh, uh, Gotham City map. And where's our waypoint? Go down. It's all the way at the bottom right. Ah, uh, there yeah, we go. That's where the GCP so where's is. our closest fast travel point? In the cup this one? Is, do we have one up here too? Okay, yeah, that's fine. We, we, we're, we're not going to need any more fast travel points for the rest of this game. No. <laughs> like, not while we play it. Um, anyway, next time on the Nerdy Chinese Backlog, I guess we'll be there. Can we talk about that weird motorcycle harness? Like, I'm feeling Like, I think it's kind of cool, but like, what is... If that's the case, then what does the rest of the jet contain? <laughs> like, like, he just jumps on the thing and flies... Oh, whatever. 